So you got a new semi-automatic espresso machine and it came with a plastic tamper that looks like this. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from wholelottheylove.com. Today we're talking tampers and stay tuned in a minute I'll tell you about my favorite tamper. Now it's not exactly cheap but in my opinion it's definitely worth it. Now if you're using an entry level machine that brews through a pressurized filter basket, you know the ones they call crema enhancers, well that plastic tamper might be all you need. Tamping has little effect on an extraction through a pressurized basket. But if you are brewing through standard, non-pressurized filter baskets, it's time to chuck the plastic toy and get real. In standard baskets, a nice even tamp will make a big difference in espresso quality. Tamping is one of the variables in espresso and a good tamper can help you take tamping out of that variable mix and pull better shots. So what do you need to know? Well, tampers come in different sizes. Standard commercial size is 58 millimeter, but there are 57s, 53s, 49s, and more. For instance, many Breville machines use a 54 millimeter. So the first step is knowing what size you need. After size, the next option is base shape. There are two basics. There's flat and convex. Flat is, well, flat and convex produces a coffee puck that's just a hair thinner in the center than at the edges. Is one shape better than the other? Hard to say, but personally I use and prefer a convex base. When tamping, I do a 612-39 motion, a very light back to front and side to side move with a tamper in hopes of evening the coffee bed before applying full tamping pressure. In my mind, the curve in the base makes this more efficient and leads to a more centered and even distribution of the grinds. I also think a slightly higher puck at the edges of the basket reduces the chance of brew water channeling down the outer edge of the coffee, but that's just my opinion. I can't say I have any real evidence that convex is better than flat, and plenty of people prefer flat tampers and do just fine. The next thing to consider is the fit of the tamper in your hand. Now, how you hold the tamper is a personal preference, but here's what I look for. First, I like a tamper that allows me to apply force with both the palm of my hand and my fingers. For my palm, I want a large area to press on. Then I look for a handle height that allows my fingers to contact at or near the base. My palm applies most of the pressure when tamping, while my fingers apply some and help keep the base parallel to the coffee bed. You want that nice flat tamp. My last consideration is overall weight. A heavy tamper feels better in my hand and when initially contacting the coffee, I let the weight of the tamper settle the grounds without pushing when doing that 612-39 motion. Tampers made of aluminum tend to cost less but may weigh less than tampers made of steel or stainless steel. So I promise to tell you about my favorite tamper, but I want to hear from you too. Use those comments and tell me about yours, what you like or don't like, or maybe why you've switched tampers. So my favorite is the Espro Calibrated Convex Tamper. It clicks when you've applied 30 pounds of force. Now, actual tamping pressure is not really all that critical, but what is important is being consistent shot to shot with whatever pressure you use. And for me, when evaluating machines and doing these videos, knowing I'm being consistent without having to think much about it lets me focus on other variables. It's available in flat and convex versions and has been around for more than a decade. In 2006, it was Coffee Geek's winner for editor's choice in the best training tool category. If your tamper budget is limited, check out Rattleware Aluminum Tampers. At about 20 bucks, they're simple and straightforward with decent weight for aluminum and available in 53, 57, and 58 millimeter sizes. Joe Frex Tampers lets you customize. Choose a flat or convex base, or maybe both if you're undecided, and then choose from five different handles, including four types of wood or powder-coated aluminum. Now, those are just a few of the tamper choices. For a whole lot more, check out wholelattelove.com. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and be sure and come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on Everything Coffee, brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Oh,